But we're going to move on to our final segment, which is a continuation of last week. We talked about offensive rookies and who's going to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award at the end of the season. We're talking defensive rookies today before we kind of go into our previews, and then we'll get to MVP and the other awards after we get through all of our divisional previews. But the guys that I'm looking at, I'm going to throw a wild card guy right out the gate, Mark, and it's a guy that we just mentioned and we're joking around about. I think there's a hell of a good chance because of the team he's on and the kind of success this team could have this season, Mm -hmm. Leonard Floyd could be your rookie of the year this year for the defensive side. I mean, yes, I I think he has a lot going for him. What kind of, like, oh, what? It's a great core right there with the linebackers. What would that feel like? How many people, when the trade happened, how many people, like myself, I know I'm not a Bears fan, but I know, Mm -hmm. like, Sean and Dave were, with Dave, it was more of like, okay, I'm not trusting this. Because, you know, we traded for Shea McQuellen, and he was supposed to be a fucking dominant pass rusher and never was. So I think Dave, we all knew that was a bad so, trade when so, that one happened. So happens. Dave's like, okay, don't don't blame me for being nervous when the mm-hmm. Bears trade during the draft. But I think that, man, what would it be like just the his career in the NFL starts with so many questions. Why did they make the trade? Why did they do this? Phenomenal season wins Defensive Rookie of the Year and then says, Ryan Pace can just give a finger to everyone and say, yeah, don't question me. Yeah. Don't question the The one guy. thing that I think hurts Leonard Floyd is he has so many other talented players mm-hmm. there as well. So Yeah, so he doesn't he might not need to try as hard as a guy like Joey yeah. Bosa, who's on the Chargers mm-hmm. and is gonna need to win. The Chargers for are gonna sure. need to win. For sure. But also Leonard Floyd is also not for sure the starter. Right now, well, he might not start. Be, he's just going to be a pass rusher for the Bears. Yeah, I mean, he's coming off the bench. He's mm-hmm. your six man or whatever. Um, I don't even really know if you want to give six man territory there, Ricky. You love your basketball, but he's going to come in off the bench, do what he needs, and then get off. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can really be defensive rookie of the year for just coming in, hitting a quarterback, getting off, getting on that bench again. Well, it's going to depend on how many of those sacks that he racks up if he gets his twenty. If he gets his 20. If yeah. he gets that, what is it, 20? Is it 20? Is that the record? No, I think it's probably a little bit more than I that. I think it may. I'm going to look it up. I think it's like 23, 24. I'm going to look it up, though. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, he's going to get all that against uh, the Eagles. I forgot about that. Yeah, exactly. He's going to just take Carson Wentz out of his career, basically. <laughs> but you mentioned Joey Bosa. We can talk about Joey Bosa a little bit later. The guy who I really think has the best shot at it should be pretty easy. Pretty obvious, right? Jacksonville Jaguars, their pick, Jalen Ramsey, the guy they lucked into. Is he going to play? Like The thing is his injury, and it's 22 and a half held by Justin Houston. There you go. I, I The thing about Jalen Ramsey is, yes, he has to get over this injury, but the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be in a lot of shootouts. Mm-hmm. The man's going to have a lot of teams no, I'm, throwing the ball I'm saying him. the thing about him is he going to play this season. That's what's going to happen because of the, um, the mm-hmm. knee injury that he suffered. I don't know. His, his camp is saying that they're not that concerned. I mean, I know that's his camp there, until, and they, they have to say that. Until but. I hear a definite he can play week one, I'm going to be worried. Mm-hmm. That's just how I roll, especially when it comes to Jacksonville Jaguar defensive players getting injured. Yeah. they. Well, I mean, they didn't want to have two first-round Here, picks this here's year. Here's a question I got for you. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't play last year— are they going to count uh, Dante Fowler Jr. as a first year rookie this year? Because he didn't play last year. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I don't never know if they'll play, do that. Never played a snap. I don't think they'll do that. If let's put it this way, if he's considered a rookie this year, is he the favorite to win the defensive rookie of the year? Because basically, he's a sophomore playing in the same field as all the rookies. Mm, I don't know. I, first of all, I don't know if they'll let him do it. I really don't know. Someone mm-hmm. in the comment section can can inform me if they'll let him do it. But I don't really. I don't know. I don't know if I if I think that they would be a favorite in that case. No, I'm gonna say no. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say I would still put Joey Bosa ahead of him in that case. The reason why? Because Joey Bosa's JJ Watt. And yes, the Chargers are not that great of a team, but teams are gonna be throwing all over the Chargers, and this is gonna be the one guy who's gonna be there, you know, trying to stop that. Because this defense was bad last year. They really were. 
they need someone to be a leader, someone to really turn that around. And that's exactly what Joey Bosa is going to try to do. Hopefully he'll swat some balls down just like J.J. Watt so we can keep the comparisons going. But, man, is he going to be hitting quarterbacks a lot and hitting a lot of good quarterbacks too. So that's who, that's who my number one guy would be. I think DeForest Buckner would be an interesting choice just for the other defensive end because he's a fucking monster. Like, mm-hmm. he's just a freak athlete, and he's insanely just huge at the position. He's an anomaly. But I just don't – I don't know. I, I feel – I have trouble having faith in the San Francisco 49ers. Maybe it's just because I'm in the same room as Ricky, and Ricky kind of is rubbing off on me here, but I don't I don't believe in the San Francisco 49ers No, right I now. don't believe in them either. To me, I'm trying to, from what I think, and this is me researching the Dante Fowler thing, um, there's an article on profootballtalk.com um, of NBC Sports, and it says, Dante Fowler Jr. injury helped spark rookie minicamp changes for um, Jaguars and Dolphins. I think that's just an article talking about the changes at their rookie minicamp. I don't think that's something that he participated in. So somebody down in the comments is going to need to help us on that because technically mm -hmm. he didn't play last season. Yeah. You know who actually I think also another defensive end who's got a good shot at it? Mm -hmm. Shaq Lawson. I was just going to bring him up. Yeah, playing in Buffalo. And that's the whole thing is – is he? I know there's something about him having surgery, and unless he's going to have surgery at the end of the season, but that could be something where it's like we're going to need you to help spark a playoff run mm-hmm. and and get these teams to not score points against us. He could be a defensive end now, that just turns it on. Yeah. Now this, of course, goes to our previous discussion. Last week, when we talked about the offensive rookies, because mm-hmm. we, I was mentioning, I think it was Carson Wentz that I mentioned how he might not even start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yet, does he still have an opportunity because of the games he plays? Shaq Lawson's not going to play the first six games. He's pup list, so he's not playing those first six games. But does he come in later, make a big enough impact to where it doesn't matter? Especially if the Bills do need to go on a playoff run to get past New York, to get past New England, to get past Miami, whatever it might be. Is that enough? Like him being able to do that, does that give him that extra push to say, man, when this guy came in, he was the most valuable player because he turned this team around and then they pulled the Kansas City Chiefs, won their way straight into the playoffs. I don't know. Mm, it's tough. I don't know. I'm looking at the one thing that um, last year's winner, Marcus Peters, and he was drafted 18th. He's a cornerback. Mm-hmm. However, I look at cornerbacks this season – if it's like, not going to be Jalen Ramsey, well, I don't see anybody. Well, Jalen Ramsey technically is quarterback, but could play safety also. But the pure corners that I'm looking at, mm-hmm. could it be Eli Apple? Could it be a Vernon Hargraves? Both of those guys went near top 10. Eli Apple was in the top 10. Hargraves was just out at 11. And Artie Burns, who was taken 25th overall by the Steelers, I don't think this is going to be the year of cornerback for the defensive rookie. I think it's going to be the year of the defensive line slash pass rusher because Joey Bosa on the line. You've got Shaq Lawson on the line. Another name we haven't mentioned that I'm going to throw out there, Robert Kemdichie playing with the Cardinals. Yeah. Defensive tackle. It's a good team to play on. Could fucking make it just blowing right into that line and making something happen. And then I'm at, I'm going to put... Um, Leonard Floyd into that discussion. Yeah, go ahead, put him he, in there. He's a pass rusher. He may pass rush more out of the linebacker position, but I'm still going to put him on that line because he can be on the line as a pass rusher. I think it's going to be more of one of those players that wins it and not a cornerback this mm-hmm. season. Yeah, as a Bears fan, I'd love to see Leonard Floyd do it. Really would. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm hopeful that, that Jalen Ramsey will be fine mm-hmm. and he'll be able to do it because he would be my clear favorite. If it's not him, I just had to go off the NFL comparison and feel like Joey Bosa is in the best spot because J.J. Watt is still the most def- – like at least one of the most dominant players on defense. Mm-hmm. And to get a guy who's just J.J. Watt light, I that's exactly who I would want to, to win this award. That's exactly who I want on my team. I'm going to ask you about two other guys. If these guys play this season because they had injury concerns in the offseason – if they play this season and play their tails off, could we see 
some second round talent win in Miles Jack or Jalen Smith? I don't really think so. Uh, I don't really have a lot of faith in either one of these guys playing a substantial amount of time. Injury concerns, but I also I don't know. I also just really feel like it's got to be the pass rushing position here. Mm-hmm. If it's not Jalen Ramsey, if he's not playing, if he's injured, whatever. I think it's going to be the pass rushing position. It's just such an easy position to be able to do that. And both those guys are going to be more real linebackers as opposed to guys who are just purely hitting quarterbacks. I'm going to give a top three. I'm going to give a kind of like we're in the Olympics. My bronze medal prediction for defensive rookie of the year, Robert Kemdichi. My silver medal prediction is going to be Shaq Lawson. And my gold medal prediction, the guy I think is going to be the defensive rookie of the year after the 2016 season, Leonard Floyd of the Chicago Bears. I'll take it. All defensive I'll take linemen. Leonard Floyd. What about you? You can do the same thing I did or just mm-hmm. give who you think is going to win it. I'll give you I'll give you my three. I think that... Starting with your bronze. I mean, I I, I want to put... I've, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Jalen <laughs> Ramsey as bronze. Okay. Because the, the injury, we just don't know. He says he's fine, but we'll see what happens. Speaking of injuries, then I'm putting Shaq Lawson as silver. Mm -hmm. The reason I put him for silver is because I think he will be able to be the thing that pushes that team. Because Rex Ryan, he's like a parasite. He's like a cockroach. You try and get rid of the guy, but you just (laughs) can't get rid of him. He's going to squeeze his way into the playoffs. He's going to weasel it in. And then my my gold, it's the guy who went number one. Or not number one, but the guy who should have went number one. Joey Bosa. The first defensive player off the board. Yeah, he should have. He's the real number one talent. That's Joey Bosa out there because he's just J.J. Watt. What are the odds that we see in Ohio State Rookie of the Year, like across the board? Zeke on the offensive side, Bosa on the defensive side. It'd be great for uh, for Urban Meyer over it's there. The uh, the Ohio State just. Boom, I mean, rookie Harbaugh is using that. Look at how many players of ours are in the NFL. Mm-hmm. All he's got, all Urban Meyer says, go, yeah, offense or defense, take your choice, rookie of the year. We win awards. Yeah, we win awards when you, you get guys to the might NFL. play in the NFL. Our guys win <laughs> the awards. However, I think it's kind of hard to trump because right now Michigan's got the ultimate trump card, greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah. You, you want to play quarterback here? There's a good chance you could be the GOAT, like Tom Brady. Like the as, God Tom Brady. As compared to, you know, Ohio State quarterbacks. Yeah, I mean. Mm, Cardell Jones, Cardell what's Jones he going right to do? Terrell Pryor's playing wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> or you can be like Kurt Herbstreet and uh, be on College Game Day and do hey. uh, college football announcement. It works. Hey, it worked for Tim Tebow, SEC Network. It did. Well, Tim Tebow tried. He won a playoff game, at least. He did. He beat he the did. Steelers. And he beat the Bears. Well, Marion Barbarian beat the Bears yeah. in that game. He beat Let's his be own honest. team. He beat his own team by running out of bounds. But that's going to do it for the onside kick this week. Go ahead. Let us know down below what you think of our last segment, the defensive rookie of the year. However, anything we talked about, the Jets, the Eagles, the rookie of the year, offensive, defensive, just – let us know down below in the comment section. If you're on iTunes or Google Play, Android, or Apple, you can now get our podcast as we are now on the Google Play Store. So go listen to us on your devices now. Go ahead, check out our Patreon page, patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Just another way for you guys to give us a little bit extra support to make sure that we can improve the quality of our podcasts and videos. And we have some cool rewards for you guys that want to help us out thank you guys for listening to this week's podcast i'm on twitter at ricky widmer mark is at the with two e's mark weber most valuable podcast is at most valuable pod thank you guys once again for listening to this podcast it's really the end and as always have a good day everybody thank you for listening to this mvp podcast follow us on twitter at most valuable pod for more great podcasts